Atiku blames Tinubu for Naira scarcity in Nigeria. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar Campaign Organization, has alleged that the All Progressive Congress, APC, presidential candidate Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu is the one behind the Naira scarcity. Atiku's campaign also describes Tinubu as the real enemy of Nigerians, insisting that Tinubu is the mastermind of the new Narak note crunch who had made the people suffer untold hardship ever known in the national history. In a statement by one of its spokespersons, Kola Ologbudinho, Friday, on Friday, the Atiku campaign alleged that Tinubu has been involved in a high-level criminal racket by sabotaging the system, intercepting and diverting millions of new neural notes meant for distribution to Nigeria for herself. The statement read, and I quote, It is indeed despicable that Tinubu, knowing that he has been exposed of being criminally responsible for biting cash crunch on Nigerians, is seeking to divert public attention from his heinous crime by criticizing Atiku Abubakar's widely applauded patriotic call for the extension of currency swap the line. Our campaign challenges the old progressive Congress presidential candidate to come clean on allegation that he has been using his various criminal special purpose vehicle, SPVs, companies as well as fraudulent officials in some all progressive Congress led state to intercept and mop up cash to the detriment of millions of Nigerians. In the desperation to govern his track, Sunubu in his element as the Nigerian Atfu Doja has mounted a campaign of calumny against the federal government on the scarcity of the Naira while secretly intercepting and diverting the note for his selfish use. It is despicable that the Tinubu campaign will be engaged in activities that are responsible for the scarcity of the Naira, for which Nigerians are suffering until distress yet amounts the soapbox to create the impression that he is the champion of the people. It is also worrisome that the person claiming to be concerned about the plight of Nigerians is the one responsible for their woes and at the same time urging them to urging them towards insurrection. In any case, we are not surprised that the all progressive Congress presidential candidate can engage in such alleged shady activities against Nigerians given his reputation as a bullion van, as a bullion van politician, as well as a long record of alleged fraud, including reporting reported looting of Lagos asset as well as trafficking in narcotic, for which he was convicted and he made to fulfill the sum of $460,000 to the United States. Our campaign urges to to own up to the frustration that Nigerians are presently confronting and stop shedding his usual crocodile tears. Moreover, it is clear that the Tunibu campaign is taking to a despicable route in its aspiration to incite Nigerians, trigger crisis and position Tunibu as the liberator. Nigerians are not unaware that Tinubu has bluntly refused to advise this administration on the negative of its policies just because he, Tinubu, wanted to fail to enable him to appear as a messiah. It is absurd that Tinubu prioritized his ambition over the well-being of over 200 million Nigerians of, on behalf of whom Atiku Abubak appealed to the federal government to ameliorate the situation and ensure that the new Naira notes are made available to the people. Nigerians have only but pity for the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate, as all his machinations to malign Atiku Abubakar had always failed in the face of a truth. The campaign organization charged Tinubu to immediately make confessions after restitution and ask for forgiveness from Nigerians. This thing, when they talk, Nigerians make an no form or more for these people. All I am seeing is just they are coming out to spill out what they are doing. And it's a, if you don't get what is going on, both the people that is coming out to say, I see why you did this one, no, Tinubu did this one, no, and Atiku himself, both are guilty as charged. Which, public, which people they make the cash not available? First of all, not be these positions I blame. I blame people who say they never seen money for their life before. Eh? I blame people who say they feel safe for this life wouldn't come. That money where they say at that time. Go help them go far. Now they my blame. I said I saw at a wedding, I saw this new note. This is before the deadline. Then they spray the new notes like water. For wedding ceremony. I was like, where them from get the money? And in my mind, I'm like, if these people can get this money, then automatically, automatically, what 
is going to happen is that our politicians don't get them this all this period where we say they use them they hold the money they hold them now him that those people then sell the money give i can't ask myself see which kind of problem it is which kind of wahala is this now wow which kind of problem gone 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 be this make i tell you now they are still the cash don't there for these politicians don't really talk. I just make I give an info. Now then follow the course on told her she. This is why I am telling you people. You people will say, and hey, how am I convinced? Look, bankers, like I said, not be the politicians' fault. Had it been then go meet bank, bank say no. Bank open their hand, she say, see you, see people they come meet us for money. Make them tell them make everybody did their own. But of course, everybody will be like, let me make money. Or people be like, I don't want wahala. Make on a give and making kind of wahala they go. Still here, this politics. I just want to make a tell on People where they come, they present themselves as savior. Both Tunumbu, both Atiku. Both of them. Where they come, especially the ones where they come, accuse themselves. They go come. These people will come and do cheers. On you people for, for in ahead. You know, when they cry, they go cheers to say they don't, they don't win. Now. They go drink. You understand? Now everything go up and now they tell us so. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? You don't understand. For real, we can't believe we are hearing this from you people. Terimbo is not the CBM governor or the president of Nigeria. This is not true, please. Uncle, believe it or not, both the person that is accused and the accuser, they are both guilty. I just say make a hint to now. The same with other politicians we see, say, that's it, now do or die. I say make a hint to now. To request some people will still come out and vote for these people. Yes. That is why I'm actually saying this. The accuser, the accused, they are guilty as charged. And whether I like it or not, some people amongst us will go follow for inside this situation. And they go come follow us, they complain, I see them follow. Hmm. Okay. This man no gets sense at all. Why blaming Tunumbu? Why will some Yorubas gain sense? Because Tunumbu and Nerefai don't expose their collaborators at the villa let me tell you people all of them they follow for the same thing all of them all of them we have given them the opportunity the ones that are coming out to complain we don't give them opportunity before what did they do they want wait there on seat part way there on seat what did they do so if you not like oh we can still form it just be like they say fool me once shame on me fool me twice i mean fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me all right, this man just talks senselessly, very unintelligent, different from a supposed enlightened person. How about what type of policies are these people playing in Nigeria? Putin accusing beauty as the brain behind the scarcity of a new Naira note. Gone are the days that electorate will be brainwashed. I think both Atiku and Kolo Bunoni ought to be taken into psychological, which psychological hospital. Now, may they take good, go ask them questions, go for missing, but unfortunately, for Nigeria, there is no rule of law. There are people, there are powers that be that you cannot question. No matter, no matter who you are, your level in that, uh, it was called in the work. Maybe you are among the EFCC. No matter your level, the people, the powers that be that you can't question. And they are this, it's just our politicians, they follow. All I'm saying is, make you day, open your eyes well. That person where they fight for me, no business, might be the cause of your problem. All right, on this note, of course, to the MW News, we say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy. <laughs>